Hi everybody, and we're back to my Pokemon Heart Gold walkthrough. Last episode, we explored more of Kanto, went to that legendary place known as Pallet Town. Met up with Professor Oak and whatnot, you know what, just check out that episode. But yeah, now that's, that's done, the side quest. Time to face our next gym leader. Who's that? We're about to find out. Well, as we can tell, we're in Cerulean City. I think the gym leader's not in the gym right now. It's in that place up here where that bridge was with that very strange Team Rocket grunt. That was interesting. But let's go with that good old Salamence. That's really what happened yesterday. Well, yeah. Well, anyways, moving on. Let's go all the way up here. Because today we're going to be wrecking Ralph, man. Just wreck things like we're about to do right now. Huh, you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about. Uh, Todd. I'm just gonna skip this part, guys. I'll see you in a few seconds. That was interesting. So yeah, they, they'll do that a lot. Moving on, let's see what's over here. Ha ha. Hello? Who's this? Gotta be scared off that pussy. Ha <laughs> ha, I just, I'm sorry. And who's this? Ew, why did you have to show up and bug us now? Do you know what they call people like you? Pess. You heard me right, Pess. Whoa, man. Miss you, whoever this is. It's bad. It's mean. She's meanie. Oh, those badges you have. Are they Johto gym badges? Oh, now we're impressing her, man. <laughs> if you have eight, you must be good. Okay, then. Come to Cerulean Gym. I'll be happy to take you on. I'm Misty, the gym leader in Cerulean. Oh, there we go. Now we know for sure she's Misty. And most importantly, another victim for uh, Aerialate here. So I'm just going to skip this part. I'll see you guys at Cerulean Gym. And I'm back. And time to go wreck things. We're seriously wrecking Ralph today, man. The Salamence is going to destroy. Destroy everything. And here we are. Let's uh, go talk to the referee for now. I mean, for real now. Yo, legend in the making. Since Misty was away, I went out for some fun too. Ho ho ho. He he he. That's indeed creepy. Probably went to some kind of porno. Okay, sorry, I know this is probably for kids. Anywho, uh, trainer? Yes, it is. So probably we'll skip most of the trainers or not. Uh, you know what? Just this is battle. I'm first. Come and get me. Okay, weirdo sailor man. Please don't make me do another pun about another pun about sailors. Please don't. Nope, I'm probably going to. Anyways, moving on. Let's uh take down this horsey. And as you can tell, I took away cut and add dragon pulse. I wanted to use dragon claw, but uh, that's the only dragon move I had. Whoa, well, it survived. That's surprising. Take down the horsey with crunch. So yeah, it's Friday. This is the sing a song about it. Okay, not really. But yeah, the point is we're gonna end this Friday with a gym battle. It's been a while. All the, all those uh, unnecessary side quests. That's finally something. Let's go ahead and use Fly against Seedra. Cause it's probably going to use oh focus energy setting up on me, yo. Random sailor man. Can't wait until uh, Salmus gets his mega. It's gonna be incredible. And Parker's defeated. Alright then, let's battle another sailor. And as you can tell, if you were surfing in the water, there'd be other trainers there too. But yeah, that'll be for later. This guy only has one, and Asmorel, oh my god, if this was Gen 6, I think it will be dangerous. Because it would be water and fairy. Let's go with another good old fly. Oh, Aqua Ring, what's up with these guys setting up on me, man? It's getting very annoying. Hit the Asmorel with the good old fly. Lakeo it. Oh, so close. And get hit by a water pulse. We better not get confused. We better not, man.
All right then, let's take it out with a good old crunch. Good old crunch. The Asmel's down. Excellent. But yeah, this week, instead of uh, video game news, they've been putting out anime, so... For Pokemon, anyways. So they put out a new trailer for the Mega Evolution Act 2, which is pretty awesome. But yeah, moving on, let's... uh. Battle these trainers. And also be uh recording that trailer and putting it on my news update on Sunday. Sorry about being away. Let's get in with it. Oh okay, I, that sounded very uh odd. Anyways, that's just this person's gonna have a gold duck. Another victim for another victim for Aerial 8. That's all I know. Let's go with another fly. Probably can use voltage for this, but where's the fun in that? Oh, so close for a KO. Another water pulse. At least we did not get confused. End it with a dragon pulse. Oh, the pulse moves. I give up, you're the winner. Haha. <laughs> I am indeed the winner. Alright then, let's uh, battle these two more trainers. And I believe Missy's also gonna have a a full team, I think so. There we go. I'll probably skip this battle, so see you guys in a few seconds. And I'm back. And did I ever tell you guys how annoying cloisters are? Man, they're annoying. But yeah, I'm just gonna go. Okay. I was gonna say skip this part and heal up, and now it's too late. Let's battle this trainer. Don't get nervous watching my magnificent swimming. What is that supposed to mean just because you're wearing a swimsuit? Okay, moving on. That already got weird and creepy. And she's going to have a seeking. Better not have horn drill. Man, those KO moves are just the worst. Just the worst. Just have a shin ninja and it'll do nothing. But nope, more setting up. That aqua ring. Oh, a nice clean KO with fly right there. We'll end it with another fly, then heal up and face Misty. Well, and save, obviously. One more fly should do it. And the Sea King's out of here. It's not no king of the sea. We're, we're a salmon. We're the king of everything. Okay, not really. The king of the skies. Where is that Rayquaza? Oh yeah, Rick Cross will be in the anime too, which is pretty awesome. But yeah, the trainer's defeated. And I'm just gonna heal up. So I'll see you guys in a few seconds. And I'm back, and now I'm just gonna save. So I'll probably skip this part, and then I'll see you guys in the battle. Now time to wreck Misty. Ha, <laughs> that sounded so bad. But yeah, let's uh, go ahead and face her. I was expecting you, you pest. Oh my gosh, she's still calling us a pest. God, Misty, get over it. You may have a lot of Jota gym badges, but you better not take me too lightly. My water type Pokemon are tough. Oh, we'll see about that, man. First, my Aerialite. It defies logic. <laughs> Leave a comment if you know what that means. If you know where I got that from. Anyways, Golduck is gonna start out. And I believe she also has a team of six. Okay, no, four. I mean, better man, just... God, Brock had more Pokemon than her. Let's see if she's any good. Probably not because I completely check her team. Let's go with Fly right here against Golduck. And another one. 
Just to play it safe. Oh, we missed that psychic. God, I'm so happy I have Salamis right now, man. Now it's level 52. The only problem, the only problem is it lear learns uh, Outrage and a really high level. Now it's Lapras. We'll go to Voltage next. Because it also needs to level up now. And that's our strongest Pokemon, I think. Let's go with Discharge. Oh, okay, no. Probably should go with Thunder Wave right now. Let's see if we can take a hit. Oh, maybe one shot. Oh, no. You know what? Just, let's take it out. Okay, she's switching. Interesting. Quakes, uh -oh. I just got predicted. Wow, that feels... It's terrible. Alright then, uh, let's go back to Aerogulate, because I'm predicting the Earthquake, even though I don't no clue why I'm predicting an NPC trainer. Then Timonate, and it is an Earthquake, well why else would she switch? Let's go with Fly, then probably Zen Headbutt, or Dragon Pulse. Quake, sorry, oh my god, another setting up move. What is up with this? Set up as much as you want. We'll do nothing. Let's go with Zen Headbutt. And we'll take it out. Oh, so close. And now she's probably going to do Water Pulse again. And she'll probably end up using a Full Restore here. Let's go with a Crunch. Some defense drops. Against Quagmire. I mean Quake Sire. Or something. Next fly. But yeah, in October they'll be releasing the Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire demos, I believe so. Through some kind of codes. I guess we'll find out soon. Ah, oh, so close. Water pulse again, it better not confuse me. There we go. Does not confuse me. Finish it off with a crunch. And the Quagsire is out of here. That's funny, man. It's rain. That, uh, Misty use rain dance, and it's actually raining right here in, in real life. Which sucks, because I had to walk in it well, when I took the bus. Now, in other things, let's uh, switch back into voltage. And take down this Lapras. So yeah, actually, you know what I'm hoping for in Omega Rubin's Elf Sapphire? For more of your other Pokemon to, like, use for surfing. Like Lapras in this game. In the overworld and whatnot. That would be cool. But I think it's only that Wilmar or something. Or Waylord or whatever it was. It would be cool to see other surfing Pokemon like Sharpedo or something. And let's see in. Take down the Stormy. Hmm, you're pretty good. Oh, yes, we are, yo. Time to get some. Some gym badges. Some good old gym badges. This will be our second one. This is Water Pulse does not take us out. And we survived 5 HP, I believe so. Now that's survival. Like prehistoric survival. In, in that life of battle, which was amazing because Mega Aerodactyl was in it. Which is the point of the title. But yeah, moving on. We got that good old crit. Got Stormy. And Voltage levels up. And Misty's defeated. Looks like this is it. 
Yes, it is Missy. And now we're dating, apparently, or, or not. You really are good. I'll admit that you're skilled. Here you go. It's the Cerulean Badge. Awesome, man. We got our second gym badge. There's more to come. Here's another memento. From this battle, take it. And it's probably water balls. TM3. It contains the move water pulse. It can sometimes confuse your foe. You've managed to defeat trainers. All the way from Johto. I'm sure you have a good use for it. Yep, but we'll find a way to use it, I guess. Alright then. So we're just gonna skip this part and we'll see you guys outside. Or uh, out of this water area. Alright, and now I'm here. Let's go talk to this, uh, dude. Oh, you showed me. How tough you are. As always, that was one great battle. Yes, it was, yo. Yes, it was. That will be the end of the episode. And then we'll be going to wherever next. Right, Barry, whatever your name is. Just gonna skip you nice and quick. Oh, and, and Onyx and Geodude. Reminds me of Brock. Alright, moving on. <laughs> so, yeah, that will be the end of the episode. And next time we'll be going to wherever next leads us in our Kanto journey. But before we go, let's see what Area 8 has to say. Your Pokemon is looking around, restlessly, for something. That's your next gym badge, yo. Everybody knows. It already knows. So thank you for watching, everyone. Please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe if you did not. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching, everyone, and have a great rest of your day. Let's do